Hey guys and welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today we're going to review on Daniel Suarez from Cars 3. Cars 3, yes, Cars 3. When you're wondering, how on earth did you get this? This Cars 3 Diecast only come out on May 1st, which is like a month from now. I'm not sure when I'm uploading this, but I mean like April 1st, April 2nd. If it is April first, happy April Fool's Day. Anyway. <laughs> but anyways, how uh, how on earth did I get this? I got it from eBay because there's a bunch popping up on eBay, and I'll tell you that reason why is because these cars are popping up at Kroger's, Walmart, and Toys R Us. Yeah, I don't know. Walmart, Toys R Us, and Kroger. I mean, I guess they don't really care about the May first deadline that much. At least from what I heard, they're popping up at Walmart, Toys R Us, Kroger's, Fries, King Scoopers. So I guess. People, uh, stores are listening to that May 1st date, which I guess is kind of a good time to not. Because, you know, Mattel wants to see that on May 1st, but I mean, people might want to get these cars earlier. And if so, it's really nice. Target, however, hasn't been to Portland, though, so they're probably listening to Mattel. So, yeah, so Danny Suarez, or Daniel Suarez, is going to be worst voiced by the real, real life NASCAR driver Daniel Suarez, who won the 2016 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship, by the way. I believe he's the first Mexican driver to ever win in the top three NASCAR division. So, congrats to Daniel Suarez. So, the description for the movie, I guess, is blindsided by a New Jersey artistic corporation, which is like this Daniel Suarez, not like Cal Weathers or Rev Meeker. It's more like Daniel Suarez, the next gen high tech rookies, um, racers. Liam McQueen fi finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, a.k.a. Cruz Ramirez. Inspiration from the late Fabulous Hudson Hornet, so Doc Hudson, oops, Doc Hudson should make a flashback probably or two in Cars 3, and guidance from a few old friends along the way, so radiation years from staff, probably. I guess, best guess after that last one, so. Other cars in the movie we're going to see are Buck Baron, Red Meeker, Cal Weathers, all racers, as well as Brick Yardley, all going to be replacing cars. Like, he's going to be replacing Agent Karbreski. He's replacing Ryan Shields. He's replacing the King. Or maybe, like, someone else replaced the King and Cal replaced that guy. But I don't know. But maybe we'll learn in the movie. Brick's replacing James Cleaner. Natalie Sutton is going to be uh, our ascent person. A smarty pants is what the description kind of says. And Smokey is going to be a friend of Doc, most likely. So. That might be where some flashbacks come in. So, yeah, cannot wait to get Danny Swirl out of the package. So, enough talking, and let's get Danny out of the package. Or Danny out. Uh, first Car Street package I'm ripping open. The first Car Street car I'm ever going to open up and hold in my hand. Boy, he looks awesome as a package. Boy, he does. He, he looks awesome out of the package. Let's put this up. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can't. And let's get the Daniel Suarez name tag out of the package. It looks to be a little new for Cars 3 because if I just get Derek Crusher with headset over here, his name tag looks different. Yeah, it's like a curve. Like, now there's a curve. If you can see here, there's a curve in the packaging. There's a curve in the name tag. And the thing is, that's sad is one, the cars logo like this, this cars logo is going away. And two, no image for the character. So that's sad that no image for the character. But the characters are awesome themselves. <laughs> so Daniel Suarez, let's put the cars three thing up here. This thing's so, here is Daniel Suarez. He is the next gen rookie. Just like McQueen was in 2006. And he is sponsored by Octate Gain. Plus, it looks like. It says Octate Gain. It looks like in really small writing there. Or Turbo Vitamins. Octate Gain Turbo Vitamins OG for Octane Games, so that's a new logo. And everything on these next-gen racers looks to be small. Their number is small. Their writing on the hood is small. Their sponsor's writing overall is small, so most of the cars just taken up by their color, not much of their sponsor or their number. Because if I just bring up... Um, 
Lightning McQueen. Well, I'll have him in a sec here. Here is Lightning McQueen, and look at his whole hood says Rusty. His whole roof has the number 95 on it, and his whole side is covered with 95. So look at how little the sponsors have gone to me. Um, and so, yeah, very, very nice car. I really like it. My first car street car. And I'm really excited to collect these Piston Cup racers because they look awesome. And the next gen ones as well look really cool. Um, so 19, and some sponsors on the side, some, there's the, the, the next gen all have different sponsors, you only have three, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy, kind of like Carbon Fiber, but kind of Carbon Cyber, Synergy, and, um, Combustor, which is actually a next, uh, stock car sponsor for Chip Gearings, number 11, and I'm just gonna be happy. so, um, that's kind of interesting, but, number 19, G again on the other side to say, oh, yeah, nope, it's like G. Okay. Anyways, there's 19. And what's interesting is in the gold, it just says OG, 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 OG. So all over in the gold. So number 19 on the roof with the roof flaps. Octane game, OG. I guess that's the new abbreviation, OG. There wasn't on Billy Oil Changer, oil changer that way. There's the gas cap. There's, of course, the Rookie Stripes kind of continued from the... It's kind of clever, actually, how they made the Rookie Stripes part of the design. Because the gold continues to Rookie Stripes. So that's really clever by Pixar. Well, the Cars universe will be clever by Octane Game, but in, in, in our universe, in real life, it's clever by Pixar to make it that way. So if you see McCoy, he just has a yellow Rookie Stripe. But nope, he has a part of the design, which is really cool. So Octane Game Turbo Vitamins, there's his backlights, which I assume are uh, stickers like they were from Queen. So these cars don't need headlights, which is actually true. In real life, NASCARs have had, just have stickers for headlights because it's uh, for decoration. And, you know, if you crash, there's going to be glass all over the place. So, no one that's that. He, he looks very determined. Look at the, look at Light McQueen Happy. And look at all the stock cars on the back. Cal Weathers, happy. Red Meeker, happy. Buck Baring, he looks happy. Brick Yardley is happy. And all the next gen cars are determined to win. They are determined to win. They are not happy. They are just like the stock cars from Cars What? Look, these models all have the same expression. They're all not happy. This model, not happy. This model is not happy. They're determined, but for car three, the stock cars are very look very smiley. <laughs> They're smiling. Cars one, they weren't smiling. And it looks like that trend just carries over to the next gen cars. So and what's interesting about the wheels, I believe on all of the next gen cars, it doesn't say light here. Like it would on right there. Just says um wait. Oh no, it does say light year and really, really small printing. There you go, light year. And the spokes are very cool. You can kind of see. And it's nice that Mattel starts putting the color of the rims. Like, in Cars 3, or not Cars 3, in Cars 1, like McQueen has yellow on his rims inside. And a lot of racers have like a trim. Their trim is like they have a tire trim inside the tire. I think Rusty Cornfield may have like a purple trim inside if he gets black tire, so he's like a purple trim. Um, I wish they would do that for the Cars 1 cars, but they look to be doing that for the Cars 3 cars, which is very nice. And um, so that's very nice. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. But um, I wish... I was gonna say, I wish we would have gotten pictures for the uh, Cars 3 um, designs because then we would see like their animated picture of how they're gonna actually look in the movie. You know how Jackson Storm, as we've seen him in the trailer, we know how he's gonna look in the movie. Oh, uh, you know how Smokey and like a bunch of his old racing, a bunch of Doc's old racing friends are gonna look in the movie because we've seen an animated picture of them actually from the road to the well not really the road to the race but um there was like an article released about new cars as names and um how who's gonna voice them like river scott uh 
some other cars, uh, like Louis Nash, I think it was. Um, so and some other. You guys can search it up. Maybe I'll leave a, leave a link in the description. So yeah, that's very cool. So I hope we get a promotional image of Danny Suarez soon, cause we know how some cars are gonna look like. I think those are really the only ones we know. We know how Smokey's gonna look like. We well, you know McQueen, of course. We know Cruz Ramirez. And I'm thinking of anyone else. I think that's really it. We don't know any of the racers except McQueen and Storm right now. Is, um, so, yeah, I don't think we know anyone except those guys right now. So, um, that's pretty sad. We know Natalie Certain. We know her. She had an image released of her. There were a couple racers, actually, in the background of her, like, TV thing. But we got a really good shot at some of those. I mean, we have seen a bunch of racers speeding by in the trailer. We've seen Cal Weathers and Bobby Swift. But there's just not been a picture for them. Like, there, they, we've seen scenes of them racing by, but there hasn't really been a picture for them. Like, there has been for Storm and Ramirez or McQueen. Or, like, a character showcase type thing. Like, we saw a character showcase for McQueen, Ramirez, and Storm. And uh, that was cool. We've seen pictures of Smokey, like I said, in Dark Souls Racing Friends. Um, and that, and we've just seen a bunch of trailers with a bunch of cars that, yes, we've seen, but we haven't really seen a picture of them. So, swore, if we would get a picture for, like, Brick Yardley, Buck Barringley, Red Meeker, Cal Weathers, Daniel Suarez, and a bunch of others that are released, like Cheap, gear, cheap Chip Gearings. That would be nice because even cars that appear like one second in the car movie, like Clark and Break It, we got a picture of him from his, from his podcast. And all the racers got a pictures of pictures of him. Like Rusty Rotor and Ruby Easy Oaks, Ryan Shields. They didn't really appear in the movie that much, but we got pictures of them, so that's nice. So, uh, yeah, I wish we got that. But other than that, the Eddie Suarez is a very nice car. I really do like the next-gen cars. <laughs> but they seem to be mean in the movie. I'm not sure. Maybe Suarez and the cars that they're going to make voiced by real NASCAR drivers because they're going to have Suarez chase race a lot. Um, Ryan Inside Lady and Bubba Wheelhouse. They're going to be voiced by actual NASCAR drivers. They might be nice and... Be against Storm E, but uh, from what uh, from the diecast, it doesn't look like Suarez is gonna be with McQueen. Looks like he might be against McQueen, so maybe we'll see this shot in the movie. Who knows? Maybe even this shot. This this wouldn't be a good shot, but I'm expecting to see this in the movie. Maybe even like that. I'm expecting to see uh, Daniel Suarez in front of McQueen in the movie. So. Hopefully, McQueen puts all the next-gen cars in their place when he beats them at the Florida 500. Just hoping that happens. Um, but here is the um, Octane Game Racing from Cars 1, Billy Oil Changer. As you can see, the <laughs> one the design has changed, the paint scheme and the race car design. But um, There's kind of an evolution of Octane Game Racers. So you're going to have Billy Oil Changer. Then you're going to have Bobby Swift. I do not have Bobby Swift, but... I'm hoping to get him. Maybe I can find him at like a Walmart. I'm hoping to find some car street cars in stores. Probably not going to happen though. But you can always hope because people people haven't found them. But they're mostly on the West Coast. Not in Illinois. So, well, I think a couple were found in Nashville or Tennessee. So, if someone found in Tennessee, they're not that far from. Them. I mean, they kind of are far. I don't know how much on a plane. It's like two hours on a plane, something like that. So hopefully, because they're kind of close. They're closer to Illinois than California is. So. If people found him in Nashville, maybe I have a slim chance of finding him here in Illinois. I'm not sure, but so you have Billy Oil Changer, and then you have Bobby Swift, who is might be the racer who races after the King retires and before Daniel Suarez comes in, somewhere around there. So maybe he races from around 2008 to 2014 or something. I don't know because he's the same model as Rev Meeker, and he will be, have a speaking line in the movie. I'm pretty sure. So, like, all these cars, they don't look to have a good chance against Suarez. They have, they, I mean, McQueen is their style. They don't have to look to have a good chance against the next-gen cars. So they look to be all retired because, um, in the, when the next generation cars come in. We'll just have to see the movie. That's just a lot of big questions people are asking right now, including myself. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that. So, you have Billy Orange Changer, then you have Bobby Swift, who's a purplish type of car, and then you have a blue car. So, Octane Gate, can you please settle on a color? First, it's orange, then you guys have a purple car, then you guys have a blue car. Settle on which is your 
companies come on, I know this is like a purplish blue it's like more blue than purple than Bobby Swifter so sell out a color and use that as your color oh, um, Octane Game please please do because you guys changed color three colors in ten years I don't know any company who changed three colors in ten years much less any company who changed color at all in their term like main color like targets and colors right so uh yeah but um, Daniel Suarez, very nice, and I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever car screen review. Let's just take one final 360 look at it. And sorry if you guys have been, if I've been blabbing on too long. There's just a lot to talk about with Daniel Suarez and car screen. And uh, yeah, the actual release is only like a month away, so that's pretty nice. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and I was really excited to make this video. I'm really excited to get this car in the mail. So, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.